Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back. Now I am shooting this uh, video, this podcast really early in the morning. Uh, lighting might be kind of crappy. Uh, also, if you hear a cat meowing in the background, um, just deal with it. <laughs> All right. So in today's episode, I got a, a question that I want to bring up here and then I want to try to answer it here to the best of my ability. So this coach uh, reached out to me. He said, hey Ben, I legally set my business up, which is great. You should do that. Uh, I got my insurance, great. All right, he's filling the check the check boxes here. Um, and he said, the last step I'm at now is I don't know how much to charge my clients. And he goes on to say that, you know, I'm looking at what the other coaches in my area are charging. I don't know if I can charge that much. Uh, what should I do? And uh, there's really three rules that I think of here. And I don't want to say three rules. These are, these are three things to think about. So number one, when you think about your price, you can't base it off of what other people do. Because... Those people might have more experience. Uh, those people might have more confidence. Uh, those might those people might have less confidence selling. Uh, so to base what you do off of what others are doing, uh, it's not a good idea. And how do I know that? Well, it's exactly what I did at the beginning. I saw what one competitor was doing, and I was like, mm, I'm going to charge less than this guy. And I quickly realized if you charge less normally you're going to attract people who are less committed all right so that's number one all right number two if i just came on here and said yeah you should charge a hundred dollars an hour or two hundred dollars an hour or three hundred dollars an hour um you might not want to do that all right so asking me how much you should charge um isn't the way to go asking yourself what is included in your offer that is how you establish how much you charge, right? And this is the step so many coaches and trainers miss. They, they overlook it. They think, well, I'm just going to go and do a session. So how much is my time worth? But at the end of the day, it's, it doesn't boil down to that because it takes time to prepare for the session. It takes time to drive to the session. It takes time to, to deliver the session. It takes time talking to people when the session's done. So your time is not just spent on that one hour. And this is where you have to go back and realize, you know, what's the real value of my service that I'm providing? Not the value of my one hour of time, because it's not one hour of time, it's more than that, right? Now, with that being said, there's one thing that I want you to do, right? I want you to figure out what it is that you offer, not how much is it. What, it, what do you actually offer? What do your clients get when they're training with you? What do they get when they're not training with you, right? And when you focus on those things, coming up with your price becomes very easy, right? Now, the last thing here, so I said there's three things, all right? First is don't compare yourself <clears throat> to other competitors. Second is focus on your offer. Now, the third thing here, in, in my opinion, this is the most important, is when you start charging your clients, right? Ask yourself, how much would I pay for this service, right? Would I invest this amount of money if I had a child and there was another coach in my area who had this type of service, how much would I pay for it? And if you're not willing to pay the same amount that you're asking your clients to pay, it's gonna be really hard when you sell it because you're gonna be uncomfortable asking for that amount of money. So this is where you need to ask yourself that question. How much would I pay for this thing? If I would pay X, I know that I can uh, command that from, from you know, my market here, right? Ask yourself that question. So go through those three steps there. When you go through those three steps, uh, this stuff becomes a lot easier. That's it for today's video. I'll see you later.